Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free header and footer template for Divi's Freelance Writers Layout Pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to head over to this post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So once you get here, you need to download the header and footer layout pack. So you're going to scroll down here until you get to this message right here. So it says get it, get it for free today. I'm going to click on here and then you want to add your email address. Click on download and then you want to click here on download the files. So these files now are going to be downloaded onto our computer. So we are going to revisit this in a moment. The next step now is to come over here to our website. So as you can see here, I am in my admin dashboard. So I need to scroll all the way down until I get to Divi. And then you want to click on Theme Builder because this is where we're going to add our header template. Okay, so now it's time to head over here now to our file and unzip this folder. So I'm going to click here and show in Finder. Now in your computer, all you have to do is to navigate to the folder that your files are downloaded to. In most cases, it's the downloads folder. So okay, here's my downloads folder right here. I'm going to double click here. And now as you can see, this has opened up this um, zipped file. Next, I want to double click this one more time because this is the file that I need to install. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this to the side for a bit and then I'm going to click here on these two arrows. This, this is the portability. Click import and now it's time to import our file that we've just unzipped. Now, one quick way to do this is just by clicking here and then just dragging it like that and then clicking on import theme builder templates. So notice that I have override the default website template just in case you have one. And then I'm just going to click here on import theme builder templates. Okay, great. So now we can see we have our header and footer installed, but I haven't saved this yet. The reason why is I just want to show you what we have on our site at the moment. So I'm going to open our site here in a new tab. So as you can see here, so as you can see here, we have a default header. And when I scroll down to the bottom here, we don't even re really have a footer. So now when I click on save changes, this now is going to update our header and our footer. OK, now let's take a look at this. So if I come over here now and refresh this, now we have this header. And if I click here, you notice that this is now going to open all my navigation links. OK, and I can click this to close it. And when I scroll all the way to the bottom, we notice now that we have this beautiful footer which is custom to our freelance writer. Okay, so as you can see now, this page here does not look really okay. Why? It's because it does not have the theme of this layout pack. So what you may want to do is to create a page which is designed using the uh, layout pack. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click here on Enable Visual Builder. Okay, so I'm going to click these three little dots here at the bottom. Click on this plus button. So what I'm going to do now is to choose a pre-made layout that works with our header and footer. OK, so I'm just going to type in here freelance and there we go. So now we have a design here that really works with our header and footer. So you can choose whichever page you want to add here. So I'm going to go with the home page. I'm going to click here and use this layout. Next, I'm going to uh, come over here and save this layout and then I'm going to exit the visual builder. So as you can see now, this page looks much, much better because everything here is going to work with our layout and it is pretty much complete. OK, so now let's try our header one more time. So if I click over here, you can see now we can we have this blur at the background here, which looks really nice. And over here, all our links work correctly. OK, so. Now that we have this all set up, okay, this is really cool. But what if you want to go in and customize these links and customize the look of the header and footer? Well, let me show you this next. So I'm going to come back over here. Now to do that, you want to make sure that you are over here in your theme builder. And this is where you can click on this pencil icon if you want to customize the header. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, so right now we have our header here open. So we can just uh, hover over here and see what you want to go in and uh, make changes to. So let's say you want to add links to um, your navigation here. You can just click, for example, here on the about, click on this uh, gear icon to go into your text settings. I'm just going to snap this over to the left. OK, so what you can do now, you can change the title so you can change this from about 
to something else. So let's just uh, make a quick update here. Let's call this about me. And if you want to link it, you can just come over here to link and then you can just add your link over here. So make sure you have your links correctly because this is where you want to link to your pages. If you have this wrong, this is not going to work and people always be sent to the wrong place. Okay, so now that I have uh, added this, I'm just going to close this. And this can be done pretty much for all these other links right here. Now, let's take a look at uh, some of the uh, other designs. So I'm going to come over here now to my section settings. So this is the background. So if I come over here, we can see here that we have white as our background. But if I start changing the color here, you notice that the color now has changed immediately. So what you could do is you could uh, change your colors here based on your branding. So you don't really have to use the colors that we are providing in this template. OK, so now that we have this, the next step now is to just save it if you're happy with the design. But there's also a few things that you can also uh, make changes to. So if I come over here to our padding, you notice that we have removed our padding here on our section settings. So if you want to add some padding, you can just add it like that. But of course, it just, this increases more space. But to be honest, I'll just leave this as it is. OK, so let me close out of here. Next, we can also go into our row settings. So if I click here on row settings and, uh, and I go to my background, uh, this is where you can also uh, play around with your background colors, but uh, we're going to leave it as white. OK, so the next step now is to uh, take a look and see what we can do with this uh, much bigger design. So if I click here on my row settings, you notice that we have these three columns and I can also play around with my colors here. So you notice I've just added that orange right there at the top. So if you wanted to add a bit more color here, that's what you could do. Next, I'm going to uh, take a look here at uh, our logo. So if I click on this gear icon, you notice that this is our logo, but you can add your own logo by just coming over here to your media library. Now, if your logo is on your local computer, you can just come over here, click on upload files, select files, and this will add the file that is on your computer and this will replace the logo that we have. OK, so pretty much this is how you edit or customize your header. I'm going to close out of here and I will not be saving this. Next, let me show you how you can customize your footer. So I'm going to click here on this pencil icon. OK, so we have our design here open. So there's a few things that we need to take a look at here. So I'm going to go into my section settings first and then click on background because we want to see how this background was constructed. So as you can see, there's an image right here. So this is this image here. So if I click here, I can just completely get rid of it. OK, but of course, we're going to need that image. So I'm not going to save this. Next, we also have these titles. So in your case, let's say you have totally different titles to this. You can always go in here and change these titles. So as you can see here, this says services. So you can change this to um, whatever you want. So as you as I'm typing here, you can see it's really adding the extra text. OK, so uh, this is how you update these headings. Next, we also have these images here and these are custom images. If you want to get rid of it or add your own, uh, this is where you'd go. As you can see, this is an image, so you can delete it completely and now it's gone. But of course, if you want to keep it, in my opinion, I think that looks nice as it is. Next, we also have these links on the bottom here. So we can go in and customize this just like how you could do it on the header. You can just come over here, change this title if you need to. And then over here on the link, you can just add your link URL here and this will link to your pages. So this can be applied to all these links that we have here on the bottom. OK, so on the bottom here, we also have our copyright message. So you can also go in and change this copyright. And instead of saying company, this is where you can add your actual uh, company. So I'm just going to call mine <laughs> Mac Designs. OK, and also on the um, email address, you can change that to whatever fits your design. Now, the most important thing here is this email opt in, because if this is not set up, it will not work. So I've just clicked on the gear icon to go into my email opt in settings. So here what you can do is you can come over here to email account and assign your email account here. So there's quite a few. As you can see, we have active campaign, Aweber, ConvertKit and so on. So this is where you want to choose your one. So let's say you use uh, MailChimp, you can just select it. Then once you've selected it, 
you want to choose your list click on add so once you've added that what happens is when people sign up here and hit subscribe they will be added on to the mailchimp mailing list okay so once you've done that we can also come over here to the success action and this is where you can either display a custom message here by default after filling in they will just get a message which says success but you can also redirect them to a custom URL. And this URL here could be a thank you page. It could be a page which has a specific message, a video. It can be whatever you want, but you have to create this page first in order for you to add it here. Because when I click here on redirect URL, you can then come over here and paste it. So pretty much that's all we need to do here to uh, customize our design. Once you're happy with everything, just save this and this design will be applied pretty much across the whole website. So I'm just going to say discard and exit. But um, the final design now for this to appear, you need to also click one more time here to save all the changes. And that is after you've made all your designs here. OK, so once you've done that, pretty much this is the final design that you get. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.